Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have a quite large Sephora Springs saving event haul. So if you want to see the items that I picked up, then just keep watching. Really exciting news about this video. I would like to start off by saying that this video is sponsored by Sephora. I know. <laughs> this is my first ever sponsored video and I couldn't be more thankful that it is with Sephora, of course. So thank you so much Sephora for working with me on this video. I'm so excited to share with you guys the products that I picked up during this event. Now I do actually already have another haul of some other items that I picked up. They just came to my house a lot sooner. I couldn't wait. So I will link you guys to my very first haul that I did for this event. This one is the big one. This one we're really getting into some good stuff that I picked up. So of course I want to start off this video by sharing with you the details of the event. You guys know for me this really is an event. I always look forward to doing wish lists, recommendations, hauls, try-ons, hits and misses, all of that stuff. I hit it for these events. So of course we are in for a treat today. So here are the details. So if you're a beauty insider, this is available for all tiers. Even though I'm getting this up towards the end of the sale, the great thing about it is you can make unlimited orders. I've literally made for at this point. All of my Canada gals, this is available to you guys as well. So if you are a Rouge, the sale started the 17th for you and it is ending May 1st, you guys get 20% off. If you are a VIB, the sale started the 21st for you, it is going on until the 29th, you guys get 15% off. And if you are an insider, the sale started the 23rd, it's going until the 27th and you guys get 10% off. You guys know, use the code SPRINGSAVE to get your percentage off and you can also use the code free ship to get free shipping on your order. I think we've covered all of the important information that I try to get out to you as much as I can. So let's get on to the actual items that I picked up. So like I said, you can check out some more of the items in the previous haul that I did. And here is just the bulk of it. Just like that haul, I am doing a try on as we go along. I just find it really helpful when I put the items on beforehand and I can tell you a little bit more information about the product itself. I will be doing a follow up video where I try on even more of the products on my face and that way I can get more into depth about other products as well. So I picked up two face primers. Both happen to be minis. The first one I picked up is one that you guys knew I was going to pick up. I picked up the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I'm about done with my full size. This time I did end up picking up the mini size because apparently the value is better if you purchase these mini ones. This is exactly half the amount of the large one, but it's actually more than half the price off. And I figured I would go in baby steps anyways. I have so many primers that I might as well get the baby one. Even though I know I love this, I can continue to pick up the baby one so that it doesn't expire things like that. I use this today as I do every day. It's my favorite primer because it is so extremely moisturizing so if you have dry skin I highly recommend this one and get the little mini cute one because it's a better value. The next one is also not a new one for me. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is one of my favorite pre-makeup application products. So this isn't technically a primer. It's more of just like a skin moisturizer but I love to use it as a makeup primer. This is such a luxurious product and I absolutely love the cream that's inside. Again, it's very moisturizing on the skin. It really sinks in quickly and it's just the perfect base for makeup. It's a lot thicker than the Smashbox Primerizer, which is much more liquidy. When I need a little bit more of intensive hydration that is going to sink into my skin a little bit quicker, that is when I go for my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It's definitely an incredible product. Highly recommend it. I picked up a couple of foundations as well. The first one that I picked up is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Foundation. So I have heard so many good things about this. I heard it is also a dupe for that Tom Ford one. And what finally made me break down and purchase it was Mel. She talked about how it was like one of her current favorite foundations. I was like, all right, sold. I've been wanting this for a while. I got mine in the shade 2W1 Dawn. I think this is just a touch too yellow for my skin tone, but it's actually the same color that I have in my double wear foundation. And they didn't have the more neutral undertone in stock. So I figured I would just go for this one. And it's a pretty decent match. I mean, it blends out to be a really good match for me. This is a very liquidy, lightweight consistency. It blends out very easily and it is a very hydrating and glowy foundation. I would say I got about a medium
medium coverage with it. So far, I'm liking how it looks. I can see myself really enjoying this over the summertime and the springtime in the warmer conditions. So I've only been wearing this for, I want to say, about an hour now. So far, so good. So we will continue to see what I think about that. But yeah, it's a very, very glowy foundation. The next item, I didn't know I wanted it until I put it in my cart. And then after that, I really, really wanted it. I don't know if you guys experience that, but sometimes, okay. So I am definitely guilty of being an online window shopper where I just go to random websites and I fill a cart <laughs> and of just things that I kind of want. And this ended up in that kind of scenario. And then I ended up deciding, no, like this is gonna make the final cut. I really want it. And this is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. Now I haven't opened this. I haven't tried it yet. This is in the shade ST8 Shayla. No idea if this is the right shade, kind of took a guess, but I've heard really good things about this. This sounds like something that I'm going to really enjoy for summer or for work when I start going to work again. <laughs> and I don't have like a skin tint serum kind of product in my collection, so I felt like this was really interesting to try. So I definitely will have to keep you guys updated on this. I'm very excited to try it out and let you guys know my opinion. I picked up a new concealer as well that I actually have gotten a lot of questions from you guys about, so I know you guys are interested in it. This is the Kosas Super Cream creamy and brightening concealer. I ended up with the shade 3.5 and I did see a comment saying that these concealers run very yellow and that is true. I mean, I don't know if I ordered a shade that happened to be a little bit more yellow, but yeah, this definitely has a very strong yellow undertone, which I think I'm going to try and counter with another concealer. But as far as the consistency and everything goes, from what I can tell from application today, I do really like it. It spreads really easily onto the skin. It has a very nice natural medium coverage and so far everything about it it's just so lightweight. It has all of the qualities about a concealer that I like. I just don't love the tone of this so far. I'm going to need to continue to play with this, see how I can doctor it up, see if it's just the shade that I purchased. I have more of a neutral skin tone, but I just noticed yellow tones aren't very flattering on me. I prefer more peachy tones, if anything, so I wish this was a bit more peach rather than yellow. I did pick up a new bronzer as well, and I'm so excited for this, you guys. This is the NARS Laguna bronzer. They call it the Paradise Found. It's a, just a really large Laguna bronzer in special limited edition packaging. And I own a Laguna bronzer in a palette, but I've never individually owned like a whole Laguna bronzer. So I'm so excited to pick this up. And let's not mention how stunning this is. I am imagining this to be just, of course, a golden overspray, but I'm not ready to touch this yet. I need this to be featured in <laughs> multiple product shots on my Instagram before I actually dig into this. So I didn't use this today. I actually used the Fenty Butter Biscuit Cream Bronzer today instead of this one because this one I'm not ready to touch yet but it is so stunning and I can see this being a staple in my collection because Laguna is just such a famous bronzer so I'm so excited to have this big guy in my collection and I can't ever run out either so really excited to have this and try this out and play with it eventually not yet. I picked up a couple of blushes as well the first one that I picked up is from my girl Charlotte Tilbury and I got one of her Cheek to Cheeks Swish and pop blushers in love glow i love these blushes from her this is a color that i didn't have yet in my collection and i really like it it's a very soft pink it's what i'm wearing on my cheeks today you guys know i'm a sucker for a good baby pink blush and this one does just that i'm very surprised that I didn't have this one yet. I think my mom has it, so that's why I felt like I had it, but I didn't have one of my own, and I just love a good pink blush. I mix the center and the outside, by the way, to get the flush that's on my cheek, but it gives a very natural baby pink kind of flush to your cheek, and I mean, you guys know I love the quality of these already, so I'm happy to add another color into my collection. So I'm very interested in these clean makeup brands, so I did want to dive into Kosas. You know, I have the concealer, and then I bought one of their cream blush duos and I got mine in the shade eighth muse and it's a really pretty cream blush duo online as you guys know the colors can be a bit misleading sometimes so I kind of blindly picked a color because these on different websites were looking different so I'm happy I ended up with this one though because it's very pink I feel like this is going to be a very pretty color on medium skin tones but I'm such a cream blush fan for the summer because I just like to put on a tinted moisturizer and pop a little bit of cream blush on so I think that's when I'm definitely going to get the most use out of this but I'm very excited to dig into Kosas and try this brand out. It's been intriguing me for a little while now. I only picked up 
one highlighter. I'm very impressed with myself, but I picked up a big guy. This is the Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo, and I got the shade Mood Light. I feel like this is just a classic in his line, and I can't believe I didn't have it. I just wanted to get it, and you guys, it is stunning. I am wearing it right now on my cheeks. Really blends into the skin very naturally. Ugh. I look like I'm glowing from within with the extra pop. So I started off with the bottom shade. So that one really created that glow from within. It shows up a lot brighter on the skin than it looks in the pan. I was a little worried this one might be too deep for me, but that wasn't the case. And then I went in with the lighter one just to add that pop. And so far, as expected, this is a beautiful formula. I see what all of the hype is about. So expanding my Tom Ford collection slowly but surely add very happy with this new addition to the family. By the way, I know we're off of blushes, but I keep staring at my little friend that I have. I'm worried that it's from the cream blushes from Fenty because I wore them yesterday and that little guy popped up right on the center of my cheek and it's abnormal for acne to pop up there. So I have to keep you guys updated on that, but that that's what that is, just so you know. <laughs> okay, I did pick up four eyeshadow palettes because you guys know those aren't my kryptonite. And I picked up one Tom Ford, of course. This time I picked up De La Cream. And this one is such a pretty everyday kind of palette. And I'm kind of sad that I didn't have this in my Tom Ford's rankings video because I just want to say that if you are an everyday working woman, this is the perfect everyday palette. It's not got any crazy textures in there. It's just soft, natural, reliable, everyday kind of finishes. It is the eyeshadow that I'm wearing now. I am loving it. It's simple tones that of course I already own, but I love having these tones in a Tom Ford quad and the mattes were beautiful. They blended out effortlessly. I have this color in my crease, this one in my outer corner to kind of smoke things up a little bit, this in the center of my lid, and then this in the inner half of my lid. And it's just a really great don't have to think about it kind of look. So if you're looking for a great everyday wearable palette from Tom Ford that you can just wear to work without thinking about it, De La Creme, De La Creme, this is a really great one. I'm very close to finishing my Charlotte Tilbury quad collection. So I got the next one up and that was the Bella Sophia. This one looks really pretty, kind of like deepy vampy kind of vibes here, but you have this lighter shade. Ooh, this shade, this palette of pop shade. Oh, that's a really stunning lid color. I'm excited for this one. I will have to keep you guys updated on that one, but you guys know I really enjoy the Charlotte Tilbury quads. I'm growing my collection for them, and I just think they're really effortless quads that create really pretty looks without you even having to try. So excited to add Bella Sophia to my collection. I think the next one on my list is the Sophisticate, and I should have everyone. I'll have to double check on that, but I'm well on my way to owning all of them. I caved and I picked up one of the Vizzy Art Fury palettes and I'm going to surprise you. I didn't pick up Amethyst. No matter how hard my heart tugged on the Amethyst, for some reason I was like, get Chroma. So that's what I did. As you can see, it's a bomb smoky eye palette. You have grays, steels, blacks, whites, silvers, all of these. So I'm excited to give this one a go. Of course, I know the Vizzy Art formula. This is going to be absolutely impeccable. And these are difficult colors to make work. So I know if any brand can do it, that Vizzy Art can. And these are a fantastic deal. This was already on sale. So you get an additional 25% off of these. So if you are thinking about looking into Vizzy Art, this is a great way to dive in. I do believe though they are getting rid of their theory line, which is why these are on sale, but nonetheless, you're getting that really great Vizzy Art formula anyways. And this one is exciting. I feel like I'm teasing you guys with this one, but I did pick up a Natasha Denona Love palette to eventually give away to you guys. Let me grab mine. So just generally speaking, it feels like you guys are very interested in this palette. I'm consistently being asked for tutorials. So I already own this. This is my little version so that I can dig into it. But I love this. It has pinks and purples and it's just a really pretty soft girly palette that I love. I picked one up to eventually throw in a giveaway for you guys. I'm kind of waiting for the world to kind of calm down before I do that. But this is with anticipation of giving it to one of you guys because I'm so thankful. And I love this palette and I wouldn't give 
gift you a palette that I didn't love. So this one will be hiding in my room until it is time to give it away to one of you guys. I mentioned this in my previous haul, but I did pick up the remaining two of the Eye Color Magic eyeliner duos from Charlotte Tilbury that I didn't already own. So I started off with the green one and I loved it so much that I ordered the copper one and then I placed another order following that. I got the last remaining two. And I love these because they correspond so well to the palette that they were paired with. And it really is a fun way to do something different with your makeup. So I've been wearing crazy colored eyeliner lately just on my upper lash line, of course, except for today. And I've been loving it. And Charlotte Tilbury inspired me to do that. So I feel allegiance to her. And that's why I feel like I needed to purchase the ones that she came out with. So I have the super blue one and then the mesmerizing maroon one. Really mostly excited for the maroon one because it has like a plummy element and I love a good plum eyeliner. So I think this one I will see myself using more, but why not get the blue one as well? You know, navy eyeliner is really good as well. So I can't wait to actually pair these with the quad that they're made with because I know it's going to look so incredible. I'll take pictures when I end up doing that. I'm excited to have these in my collection. And as far as quality goes, I did mention this previously, but I'm not crazy about the metallic side. I think the metallic side mostly works as eyeshadow or an eyeshadow base. I don't really like them on my waterline. As far as actually putting it on the lid area or skin, they work fine. The matte sides, they do have a bit more drag than I would prefer. I think there are more creamy eyeliners out there. It's kind of give or take because these last forever. So they aren't so difficult to use that I'm unwilling to purchase them, obviously. It's just I've used creamier eyeliners. But that being said, these last forever also. So it just kind of depends, but I really love the colors in here. So happy to have completed my collection for those. And the last kind of makeup-y item that I have, I picked up another lipstick from Artist Couture. In this box, Saucy Gal came. So this is a lipstick that I'm wearing now, and this is a perfect, like, almost brown nude. I'm very impressed that it goes with my whole makeup look today. The only lipstick that I bought, it goes perfectly with my look for this video, but I really enjoy his formula. They seem to be very long wearing. They're not too drying. The color selection that he came out with is really a good nude collection so if you are into nude lipsticks definitely look into the other colors that he has they are gorgeous the other color that I have it was a lighter color so that one was a little bit less flattering it had to be paired with a lip liner this one I did pair with a lip liner as well but this is kind of more my nude this is a nude that I feel comfortable with so I love that I love the way that this looks and I think if you have a medium skin tone this with a dark brown liner is going to look juicy delicious on you. Moving on to more beauty items, I picked up a couple items for my hair from Olaplex. I love Olaplex and I picked up the number four and five shampoo and conditioner. So these are repair, strengthen, and hydrating for all hair types. I have a wavy hair type and it's very very dry and it's damaged because I heat style it a lot and I'm not gonna stop. I'm sorry. I just can't. So I feel like I really do notice a difference when I use these Olaplex products. So I definitely need some repair, hydration, and strengthening in my hair. So I'm excited to use these guys. I'm all over the place with my shampoos and conditioners for my hair. I'll grab some from the drugstore sometimes and usually the Sephora events, I'll pick up a nice quality hair product for my hair for once. <laughs> I definitely buy a lot of more pricey products for makeup, but when it comes to like my hair stuff, I always go cheap, I don't know why. And the last item that I got, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this event so that I could purchase this item. This is the Sol de Janeiro Perfume Sol Cherosa, Cherosa 62. I haven't opened this yet. Let's smell it together. I really want to. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, this was not, oh my gosh. This was not cheap. It was $78, but in the world of perfumes or parfums, this is not that bad, especially with a percentage off, you know, I had to get it. So if you like the bum bum cream smell, essentially this is that in a perfume and oh, really cute packaging. I love perfumes. Why do they have to be so expensive? But I just love to smell good. Let's smell it together. Okay, I don't smell anything yet. Where's the... That's good stuff. It smells exactly like the body lotion. Just in this moment, it was worth it. If you like the smell of the bum bum cream, it is available in a perfume and it does not disappoint. All right guys, there we have it. This is it, no more.
Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I don't make any more orders. <laughs> I will have a couple follow-up videos with all the items I purchased during this event, whether that be a full face or hits and misses. Make sure you guys comment below what products you are interested in me definitely using or following up on so that I can make sure to put those at the top of the list when I do talk about items. If you're looking for some more last minute inspiration to add to your cart, check out my haul that I did a couple of days ago. And thank you Sephora for sponsoring this video. It was wonderful to partner with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so. I hope you guys are continuing to stay safe and take care and that your loved ones are doing all right as well, family and friends. I'll be thinking of all of you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.